and gentlemen, welcome back to the G Freak Speaks podcast. I'm joined today on episode 10 with my boy, Alex Barcode Krismanovic. I've got the last name perfect. How you doing, man? Perfect, welcome. Yeah, welcome perfect. back from America. Yo, Happy New good, Year. Man. Happy Christmas. What'd you get up to, man? Uh, you know, <clears throat> obviously, as you said, we went to America, qualified for Raleigh, first Halo Infinite event. That was awesome. Yeah. I've been catching up with all the players. Our boys from this region meeting all these cool pros and stuff was honestly sick. Um, and yeah, now nah, just ever since that, just been chilling, like being back home. Uh, I was a bit sick. So like actually from since rally, I haven't been able to do much because um, <laughs> I got, I got, I was like sick when I got back and it, but it wasn't COVID. And then I got COVID <laughs> after I got over my sickness. So my brother gave me COVID <laughs> after uh, my cold. Oh, man. So basically, I've literally been indoors for most. But uh, COVID's gone now. And obviously, you can tell I've still got a bit uh, wrong with my voice. But uh, no, we're doing fine, man. Just been gaming. No, nah, nice, man. It sounds like you've been punching down like 50 pack a day, you know? Like, you yeah, just, yeah, it's got that real. I've heard that. I reckon uh, you should, you know, apply at VB, um, two E's, mm-hmm. get some advertisement going, Something some voice like actors. Da 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 da. That's barcode. Truth, mate. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Um, <laughs> so, dude, let, let's. Oh, I really want to get into the, the rally. Let's, let's go show for the rally talk, man. Right. That for me, I'm a massive optic fan. Okay, like really? huge, huge yeah, Green yeah. Wall fan. I and saw I, you tweeting about yeah, it. Yeah, and I saw the draw, and I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. Chiefs and optic yeah. in the same bracket. I'm like, okay, I'm like, well, I'm gonna to have to go for Chiefs because it's it's my boys. Good okay, man. obviously. So obviously, obviously we're going we're going for the Chiefs. Um, and look, run me through that. You guys, you know, you qualified um tell me the experience about qualifying and then leading up to it once you find out the playoff bracket itself <coughs> and go from there for me um qualifying that was pretty huge for me because like so halo was in a very rough stage prior to infinite and um you know the last like major event was in 2018 that we got sent overseas to and <clears throat> during that like late like last event period in ANZ, like the region was considered dead. So there wasn't really a lot of um, competition, right? And um, basically people just throw it off as free events and stuff, getting gifted the event, blah, blah, blah. But to finally qualify for an event in like a peak time and win that qualifying event and actually go over there, like was, you know, pretty... Pretty uh, cool for me, you know, like uh, it felt like it was actually something meaningful because, you know, obviously the scene's revitalized now. There's a bunch of competition, um, you know, and the numbers are up there, man. The numbers are actually pretty huge for Halo. And uh, yeah, so qualifying for that was awesome. And then seeing the bracket, dude, I was stoked, man. Dude, I love Optic. I love Optic too. Like I'm such an Optic fanboy. I used to love Vision. Um, I sort of stopped, I dropped off like when, um, the whole, infinite. you know, buying our infinite sort yeah. of stuff happened. Yep. Um, yep. <clears throat> but yeah, slowly still, you know, I'm, I'm still an Optic fan. Um, so seeing them, dude, I was definitely stoked. And the boys on that team are absolute freaks, you know, yeah. you Pistola, APG, Lucid and Trippy. Like, oh, I did. He's a legend in Halo as well. So getting to verse him was awesome. APG to Lucid and Trippy are more so newcomers, but they've been also playing Halo for a long time too. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> no, it was definitely awesome seeing Optic in there. We had uh, KCP, which, uh, oh my God, I, I, Kansas City Pioneers. I'm pretty sure that's what their team is. Oh yep. my God, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Dude. that's a testy pop, mate. That's that is not a testy pop. That is. <laughs> hang on, that is a water, dude. <laughs> you're, you're anyway, me anyway, up, go anyway, on, go on. Anyway, um, KCP, dude, they're also just a bunch of. Are we allowed to swear? Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. Just don't say the c word. Uh, damn it, that's the word I was gonna you say. You can say fish anyway, and chips. They're, 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 they're absolute chips. legends. They're absolute legends on okay. that team. Um, 
you know, they're all good blokes and stuff. And then the last team in our pools was uh, <laughs> Bing Chilling. Yeah, Bing and Chilling. I saw from, them, man. Yes, yeah. They were from Europe and we are pretty confident going up against them, you know. Um, obviously, the other two uh, NA top eight teams. So, like, it's going to be hard, obviously, for us, especially Optic, which was, like, the number one seed, I believe, going into this event. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, yeah, they were. They won the last two events leading into it. The last two, I, I swear they, they won the, the first. They won the one. event one and two. Oh yeah, but the third one. So whoever won that one got first seeding. So I think Cloud Nine actually got it, and okay. they were second seed. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't okay. know how why anyway. they did it like that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but yeah, definitely those two teams were like leading up into it. We'll we'll just like do yeah, like these guys are gr- like crazy at the game. Yeah, juggernauts. So, yeah, legit. But being chilling, we definitely had. A layer of confidence. Yeah. Because they were, um, I forgot what, I think they were fifth seeded, fourth seeded EU team. Yep. And, um, yeah. Apparently, we made uh, some European players lose some money that day. Oh, let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was funny. Um, but yeah, no, nah, dude, that rally experience was honestly sick. That's uh, sick, man. I so I can't wait for the next event. Flying over and stuff, the adrenaline. What? How did your your family and your friends um, receive that when you first told them that, hey, we qualified to go overseas to America and go to rally and just verse some of the biggest teams in the world? How did that? How was that received, man? Oh, uh, you know, well, I don't think they grass that we're versing some like crazy yeah. players or like the, you know the best teams in the world but um i did the, the the support was definitely there yeah um obviously my dad was like sketchy as hell at flying during this period <laughs> yeah. he's like you're not gonna go man you're not gonna go before and this was before infant was out like he was you know uh my parents are very supportive when it when it's happening but when it's not like when there's nothing going on or anything they're like you know they're a bit <laughs> um, if you matter, but as soon as I'm going to events, you know, winning money and stuff like that, they're like, "Oh yeah, let's go." Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, nah, definitely. Like, just had I had so much support going into this event. Um, my teammates also had support from their families as well. Like, everyone, everyone was going into this event well supported, and just yeah, everyone was giving us you know high praises and hopes. Yeah, so it was definitely cool to uh, rep Australia there. Yeah, that's awesome, man. See, this is this is one thing I, I, I want to bag you about it, okay? Dude, you, <laughs> did you, you... I saw this thing, right? And it's all the Halo, Halo lore uh, questions. Dude, you're such a fucking nerd. <laughs> How do you know all those things, man? How do Dude, you know I'm those a Halo answers? geek. I'm a Halo <laughs> geek. I don't... Like, uh, so they pull me into the interview room. Yeah. And it wasn't for that. Yeah. And um, yeah. it was just a normal interview. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah. Anyway, and, and they're like, oh, yeah, we interviewed some pros like about the Halo lore and stuff. I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, and they're like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like the highest we got was six out of 24. And I'm like, six. <laughs> and like, yeah, what? what? Like, do you, like, are you, do you know it all? I'm like, I mean, yeah, I, I love Halo. And they're like, all right, let's do it. And they just go cut. And they, they ask all the questions and I just smash them out. Man, <laughs> dude, you smashed that dude. Like every question, you got every question right. How? Like, yeah. oh my god! Nah, I'm just, I am, a, I am just a big Halo geek because before competing, um, well, I got Xbox Live in 2009. I was eight years old, and Halo Three was massive, then, yeah, bro. Like it was. Halo Three. Oh my god! And so basically, um, I started off playing like custom games, like you know, Infection, which is zombies, pretty much. Yeah, um, yeah. Flood. It was like forge mode, yeah. yeah. Forge mode, which like people could make their own maps and stuff. Yep. Stuff like you know, like every like the uh, the whole social aspect of Halo is what got me into it. Uh, but even before I had Xbox Live, you know, like I was a big Halo fan as a little kid. Um, it's always been a part of my life, really. Like you know, like dude, I'm three months older than Halo One, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like. Yeah, that's, that's my serious. brother comes home with the Xbox, gets yeah. the Xbox, the first Xbox with Halo One. I'm just a little baby. Yeah, they just my yeah. dad and my brother are just playing Halo One, and just, you know, ever since then, like I just picked up a controller and just been 
grinding, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Hey, the console was literally bigger than you, bro, at the, at the time yeah, when it first yeah, came out. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely man. Definitely heavier. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, so that leads me to the question of, like, how were you first introduced into the gaming? So, you know, obviously you were born when Halo 1 first dropped. Um, how were you born introduced with to it? in my hand, pretty much. Born with, born, popped out and just bang straight yeah, to yeah, that. The, yeah. the doctor said, here, yeah. hold that while you <laughs> cut the umbilical cord, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, run, tell me through so, it, man. You know, it was normally majority kids. Like, they're always outside playing a bit of cricket, kicking the footy and all those type mm, of things. Mm. A, bit of, a bit of school sport. But, yeah, obviously, like, mm. run me through the, the, the origin story of that, man. Um, well, yeah, as like a little kid, as a baby, like my brother and my dad got the Xbox, the first original Xbox, Halo, all these other games, the Mecha Salt, um, and my dad later on chipped it, you know, so oh, yeah, he'd yeah. come home from work, he the, the black case, you know, with the disc, uh, and, um, yeah, dude, I was a really creative kid and I loved like making stuff. Like I really liked, you know, like just building sh- crazy shit you know <laughs> legos and, and drawings um, yeah yeah legit lego oh my god yeah um yeah drawing as well like i loved all like yeah i was just super creative and like playing games i felt like you know that sort of that's what built my creativity and because i played so many men like i was i was playing like far cry um primal instinct but i was making i wasn't playing the actual game like i was in there's like a map creator and stuff like that and i was just you know scoring around in there um, but no, man, like I was just, whatever game I could get my hands on, you know, as a kid, I would just chuck in a, chuck in one of those little CDs, see yeah. what's on it. Hey, what was the first game, it. man? I, oh my God, I don't even know. It was, a, so there's, there's a few that stick out to me. Obviously Halo 1, yeah. Combat Evolved. <clears throat> Mech Assault, or is it Mech, I, I think it's Mech Assault. Yeah. And, um. And then the the third one, which really sticks out to me, it was a uh, Disney Pro Skater, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and Far Cry. Okay. So the, it's a weird variety of games. And Dude. destroy all humans. Destroy all humans hey, as well. Good game, bro. Dude, yeah, that's yeah, a blast yeah, in the definitely. past, man. Yeah. Remember how they like? Yeah. I think they remastered that, man, not long ago. Yeah, they did. They yeah. did. Yeah. <clears throat> you play yeah, it, bro. But, um, you you scrim that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I practice all the time. That's how I just you know grind. Oh yeah, man. Now that's sick, dude. Oh. Um, and, and look, you were saying that uh, your last name um, mm-hmm. is is Serbian. So I, w- I want oh, you to. Here we go. How was? Here we go. Uh, as, no, no, no. First, we'll start. How, how, was, <laughs> it, how was how was it growing up in Australia? Um, you know, with 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 consoles and stuff uh, with with a Serbian dad. Um, oh, going into that, man. Like that. That would have been yes. like awesome, dude. So it's actually yeah. It's funny because um. My dad loved the Xbox, dude. He yeah. loved the original Xbox. Um, he's actually so my mum's quite the foreign one, you know. So yep. my dad's actually quite Aussie. He's a, quite a, a typical Aussie bloke. He's got yep. the accent and everything. He swears a lot. I get his vulgarity <laughs> from him, bro. I get it definitely from him. Yeah. Um, mum's definitely more ethnic, you know. She can't really speak English that well. Um. And nah, dude, dad loved the Xbox. He loved playing games. He loved MW2, the Spec Ops missions. Yeah. Um, it, it, he's always loved the, <laughs> the Xbox console. So, you know, growing up, like, they, they weren't your typical strict WOG parents. Yeah. Um, they, were, they were actually mild, like, just chill about most things, to be honest. And yeah, no, nah, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like, um, like I wasn't restricted, you know, like I wouldn't get like banned off the Xbox or anything. Yeah. I just, they just let me play it. Yeah. Know? Get it out of your system type of thing and then piss yeah, off yeah, outside. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, no, nah, like I wasn't just a like console kid back in the day. Like I'd, I'd also just like go outside, you know, like any yeah. other kid, like, you know, it's be playing outside my street and stuff like that. But obviously when I was indoors, just, you know, straight on that console. Absolutely, man. How old are you, bro? I'm in uh, 20. 20, yeah. okay. 10, I'm, I'm, I'm 25. So it does surprise me that you do go outside because a lot of kids <laughs> in our age yeah. group tend to yeah. just li- literally scroll, which it's pretty mm. sad, man. You know, everyone's not getting mm-hmm. vitamin mm-hmm. D and stuff, man. Everyone's like super oh, dude. goddamn white, you know? Like I, went, I went to the doctors um, after my uh, second jab because, or first jab because I, like my, you know, my chest was kind of weird. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, I'm going to go get this checked out. Yeah. And 
the doctors, I got a blood test and the uh, the doctor's like, there's literally nothing wrong for you except for one thing. And it just instantly clicked in my head. I went, vitamin D. He's like, yeah, vitamin D. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. 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 It makes sense. Makes sense. Absolutely, man. You just need it. It helps your immunity and, and yeah. just everything. Obviously not too much. Like you want a bit of a balance, but I think you get, I believe that you get your most vitamin D through your stomach. <laughs> so lay outside, get your gut out. Oh yeah. Just get the gut out. Yeah. Get the, get the pack out. And um mm -hmm. and and just get that that D in you, bro. <laughs> so excuse me, Pardon? vitamin D. Sorry, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It yeah, cut yeah, out, man. The, the internet reception, yeah, yeah. you know, Australian yeah. internet, bro. Fair enough, fair um, yeah, but hey, started. back back to the Serbian topic, bro. You know what we're just about to talk about, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. big old Novax Jocker. How yeah, uh, what do you? What do you? It, we'll take a funny take on it without being political about it because it's funny. Yes, like yes. you got to take the piss out of it. The, the, and, you know, the whole situation's a joke. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. Whole, like, are you out protesting in Melbourne? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm too lazy for that, dude. I'm too lazy for that. Hey, we don't want to get too much vitamin D and get burned out in the city. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. What I'm saying? exactly. Exactly. Absolutely, man. No, nah, smart move, dude. Smart move. So. <clears throat> I, I want to understand um, for the viewers as well and my own sake is that when when was it at the point in Halo that you really felt like this was going to be something um, and that you were going to be picked up by the Chiefs um, moving forward and your opportunities ahead? W w when did you realize that? Um, well, I think way back in 2018, so four years ago now, oh my God. Oh, Four years crazy. they've been scouting you for. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, 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 not chief. Oh, so you just mean chiefs in general? Or oh, just like well, I just I no, go Halo on. would be like a just in Halo. Um, yeah, go for Halo and then chiefs. <laughs> yeah, give me the story there. Yeah, so uh, twenty eight, the end of twenty eighteen. Um, like we like how I was saying, like we qualified for the final American event, which was Atlanta twenty eighteen finals. Um, you know, like being able to go to that event and get that opportunity, really, like just. Like it reinforced my self confidence, you know, in game. It's like, wow, I can, you know, I can do this. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just felt like a resurgence of like, damn, dude. Like, I'm actually, you know, somewhat decent. Yep. Um, and just as the years progressed, you know, kept playing Halo, just MCC, like Master Chief Collection, um, Halo Five, even just grinding and grinding. And then um, we had a set team before Infinite, and we um we we scouted a lot of orgs like we were just you know throwing ourselves out there we had like a nice little presented document like um nice powerpoint slide that we just sent yeah. to team like we we're really trying to sell ourselves yeah that's awesome um, and i think we were in the talks with chiefs um our the, our main spokesperson michael what a legend by the way just throwing him out there absolute ledge vultures um, yes yeah, yeah yeah mike mike uh, Vultures. Mike. I, I got. I said Mike because I was going to say Vultures and Mike at the same time. Who but, the fuck calls him uh, Michael? It's Mike. <laughs> me. me. You. I call him Mike. So <laughs> so professional, Barcade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not really. If you watch my streams, but okay. you know, mate, don't get me started about your streams, bro. Someone needs to tell uh, me how the fuck to type your stream title in, on your Twitter, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> And we're getting off track. I'll, I'll come we back. We are. To that. I'll go, come go back. back to that. Go back. Go back. Um, back to Mike <laughs> and presentations. <laughs> um, I think, dude. When? How long were we in talks with Chiefs for? Like oh, yeah. six months before the game came out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, and so it was a very long project, and to finally, you know, just it's official. Sign that paper. With yeah. Chiefs was finally just such a relief, you know. Um. And definitely, it's been such an amazing experience so far, honestly. It's a bunch of legends here. Um, couldn't have been any better off, to be honest. You're in here first, Mr. Josh. Uh, Mr. <laughs> AK, uh, Mike, or Michael. Yeah. Michael. Michael, actually. And, uh, yes. The man, the man, Nick. Nick. Big Nick. Mm -hmm. There it is then. Did a gas for the Chiefs. Of course. <laughs> Bit back to uh, seriously though absolutely crazy work from them man yeah they are incredible and it's great to see that um we're part of something that is really paving the <laughs> way for the generations coming through yeah 100 um, percent. i can see chiefs like being the leaders of like revolutionizing esports in australia that's that's the thing i can confidently say yeah you know? like i just i genuinely see this going just leaps and bounds 
ahead of like anything in the past. Yep. Yeah. Look, I think that I, I absolutely agree. Um, seeing the, manu- the the maneuvers that they're doing right now, like, you know, uh, Josh is doing a fantastic, fantastic job with uh, Icon with the lifestyle brand, which mm. is, um, <clears throat> you know, definitely something that we're, we're going towards as well with chiefs. Um, but then we've also covered that other base, which is chiefs itself. Um, its own separate entity, which is gaming and, and whatnot, um, which is the, the big trend right now for a lot of kids under the age of 12 looking up to, to be with teams. Um, yeah. And it's awesome. Like if, if we keep supporting one another in the, in the region um, and, 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 and collaborating when we can um, and we keep getting these amazing deals with the sponsorships that we have, like look at our jersey right now. Like we've got two yeah, of the dude, biggest things in Australia, man. Awesome. Like we've got, I love the jersey. Our jersey's stacked, bro. Yeah. It's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it really is. It's, it's stacked and cracked, man. So the more mm-hmm. deals that we land and stuff and the more people help us out, and gas us up in the community to like with these deals when we announce them, the more opportunities that people are going to get within the scene and, and see which opens up pathways for other companies, which you don't even know that would exist by jumping on board with an esport team, you know? So it, it's just, it's just <coughs> awesome, man. Yeah, man, seriously. Um, good job to everyone involved, you know, awesome work lads. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, baby. Hey, so, Take me back to when you were saying about your Twitter um, situation with the, the yep. Twitch code. But how how could you? There was like a space no, between the dot TV, wasn't yes, there? Yes, yes, yes. And what I'll happened? explain you to you why it, it was done on purpose. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, so basically, Twitter despises links. You know, yeah. It doesn't want you to leave the website. It doesn't want you. It doesn't want any malicious links, right? Um, so basically the algorithm like likes to stuff links at the very like bottom. So me putting a little tiny space in that had made it appear on more people's timelines. And I, I, I actually tested it and um, to see the interactions with the tweet with and without the link. And uh, you know, uh, I probably got like double the amount of likes on the ones without the link than I did on the normal one. But then people were like, Oh yeah, I'll just click the link instead of like you know interacting with the tweet. But like at the same time, that's not necessarily true because the same people that are saying this haven't weren't in my stream. Yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying. Absolutely. No, no. Look, yeah. admittedly, I saw it a lot of times. I did come by a few times, and did you pop it off? Seventy viewers and shit. I was just sitting there watching Dude, TV, and my t- Twitch is uh, it's going in crazy. Well, it's popping, man. It's awesome. that's sick yeah, ass, man. bro. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Um, are you doing any additional content outside of, uh, like <coughs> streaming your screams and stuff, dude? Like to really uh, help yourself? Uh, I, I play ranked and, um, I did a 24 hour stream. I played the campaign, but I did, I did a bunch of stuff. I did ages ago. I did this thing called legendary all skulls on with my boys. Yeah. That was content, straight content. That shit was hilarious. So I've got all of the VODs for that save. So down the track, I'm definitely looking to do, um, content on youtube stuff like that you know pump out just different other clips and stuff like that other than just streaming yep. so that, that's definitely i'm trying to get that in the works yeah solidify it well yeah, dude prime example we both know who they are optic you see all the shit they put out yep. there you're just yep. like holy yep. shit man exactly. like how good is pistola at content man <coughs> like dude, yeah uh, he pops off I've, but then lucid like he's just ridiculous at the Lucid's- game He's just fucking nuts. So his content, he doesn't even need to really try with content. He's just nuts. But yeah. Tri- <laughs> I mean, um, he still does put out content. And I respect Lucid high amount because he he was a pretty big streamer back um, before Infinite, like Halo 5. He, he was grinding in, a, in its off season, like yep. just when it was like at its lowest point. And um, he had like, what, 200 viewers? Yep. One, like, yeah, 200. Now the dude has like 3,000, 2,000. It's so good to see people like get that success that they deserve, you know? Yeah. And like seeing like all the Halo boys and stuff and seeing Halo have so many viewers is seriously awesome as a Halo player just after being in the dumps for so long. I know, man. Did you see that you would have... Stupid question. Does the Pope... Is the Pope Catholic? It's just the best in the woods. <laughs> Bro, how good was the first opening... Like 2K weekend, it wasn't. I don't even think there was any money, but the grand oh, final bro, reverse suite with that, Cloud Nine and Optic, it, it could, could not have been, been any better. And I just, yeah. I just changed jobs, so I was watching that all goddamn day, and I'm on my computer like, yes, 
Yeah, <laughs> just like yeah, 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 punching yeah. the air, man. I was just like, oh yeah. my god, yeah, what a comeback, man! Awesome, yeah, legit. What a um, comeback! I was, I was just sitting there, I'm like, wow, what a way to start it off. <laughs> Sixty thousand viewers watching, I'm pretty sure, for the online comp. Yeah, like, geez, it was that's insane. The, that's the tournament, like, yeah, that's pretty good. What was it like <laughs> playing in front of a crowd? Was it fifteen thousand? I have no idea. I think. Oh, look, I, I think, I it, think it, it was... sold out. I think I think it was fifteen thousand, or, or or something what, with a five. It, it might have been fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred, so one thousand five hundred. It was either that. It was even fifteen hundred, <laughs> five thousand, or fifteen thousand. It was one of those three. Either, if it, if it wasn't fifteen thousand, but how was it in the atmosphere? <laughs> the atmosphere would have felt like two hundred thousand. Tell me about it, man. Dude, I, awesome. how, how is it when Bro, you walk uh, on stage? I love, I crave main stage. I love that feeling. You know, you're sitting there, you're just setting up. You're just you you got all the graphics, you got the lights, you got everything. I don't know, it's such a cool feeling. Um and I'm I really appreciate that we actually got to play on it um against Quadrant, which was EU's second seeded team. Um but yeah, dude, seriously playing main stage never gets old. I love it. Just seeing like the crowd. Like and then they like scream whenever something happens, like, yeah. oh, you know, like it's it's yeah, goosebumps for sure. And uh no, definitely a sick experience. Can you imagine, like, if you were on main stage with Optic and you just have the green wall you booing at you? <laughs> <and break? laughs> like, yeah, there, there's nothing yeah. harder in the world than coming up against the green wall. I don't think that, yeah, yeah, no, no one sure, comes dude. close, man. It's insane. Um, yeah, no, nah, their fans are definitely some hard piece. Like, oh. yeah, I was, like sitting in the crowd, bro, and Optic were were taking maps and stuff. They all just stand up. They're like, ah. I'm like. I'm a green wolf. I'm a green wolf man too. Yeah. But jeez, it's insane. Yeah. They are absolutely yeah. nuts, bro. Um, yeah. and and it's it's pretty cool to see. And but how did you did you play a lot of games in the passion pit at the back? Um, with everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so there was like a semi passion pit, which yeah. was our featured stations. Yep. So <clears throat> still, you know, but the passion pit, like open bracket. Oh my. God. God, you could hear the screaming from everywhere. Was it? Just, did you go around there and check it out? Oh yeah, of course. Was of it? Course. Was it like uh, because we face we had mind freak? Um, ah, you know, it's it's you can't really, yeah, you know, it's passion. You yeah, know, people are getting up yelling, <laughs> "You suck!" You know, stuff like that. Um, yeah. just like yeah. Um, no, it was all because we had mind freak out in open, so we you know we supported them. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> And uh, like, I just, you know, walked around just, you know, sort of just chilling there, just seeing what's going on. But um, we got to play, yeah, on the featured stations, like I said, which were, so there's the main stage and then there's like a little small stage to the right of it. And yep. um, they had like three, four setups there, which is like where the pool play and champ bracket teams will play on. And no, it was definitely still, I guess, a passion pit. I was talking a lot of shit. We are? At least. Well, yeah, dude, they stuck, ESL actually stuck a mic on me. Um, <laughs> and they, there's, 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 there's definitely an audio file out there somewhere of me just like, because like, I, I'd, you know, they just like, I put in my pocket, sticky tape to like my hoodie um, cord. Actually, no. So correction, I would talk shit only if the other team was also talking shit. Yeah. Dishing out uh, what so, they dish out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So um, the, the, probably the best example of that would be um the open bracket team yeah. that came into that we versed on the saturday the yeah. our first um series um we played the open bracket team and you know passion they come from straight from the passion pit so they keep it going they're just yelling at us yeah <laughs> they're like they're, they're they're like they're in the lead for this first map and then like they're just like you know talking their shit and then just Everything just spirals out of control for them, and then like we just beat them, and I'm just going off. Yeah. And then the second game is just a blowout. I'm just screaming, bro. <laughs> I've got Matty's just saying dog shit. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like laughing at these guys. Um, but yeah, no, like it was just because like they, I, we knew what we were getting ourselves into, like into that series. Like we knew yeah. they were gonna be just screaming, talking just, shit, hyping yeah. up. So <laughs> we had to match the energy, and um, yeah, I was definitely uh. You know, yelling a few things. Did you get like? Do you reckon it got into their head when after you started getting ahead and <laughs> started talking mad shit to them? 
Oh, well, I mean, they for sure would have heard what I was saying because I was screaming at them. Yeah. I was yelling because you should have heard them, man. They're like standing up and stuff. Like <laughs> after like one person gets the kill or something or like, you know, they're like, yeah, just they're just yelling. I'm like, oh, here we go. They really want to bring this out of me. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah. And then I just start going here, man. I'm just, I don't care anymore. I'm just talking my shit. And yeah. I, I don't know. I think our... The second map we played, which was the Slayer, uh, did not go very well for the metal. It was actually very embarrassing. Like, we played, yeah, we played pretty insane, to be honest. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. No. Nah. But that's the thing. Like, I, I'm more of a, di- like, I'm gonna dish it out at that same level if it gets dished out to me, or if that person has like you know spoken shit or whatever. Like, it's not like. Like I, I'm still gonna teabag you if I, you know, dump on you or something. But yeah. like, I'm not gonna be going ruthless as you see me in like the online comps. And there's a few reasons why I do it. But um, content, you know, there's a bit of yeah content, but also like actual personal reasons, which is just you know like vendettas. You know, hey, against some hey, people. I, I'm all I'm all for shit talking, man. Because it all ha- stays online. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? If people can leave yeah, it behind. Yeah. No, nah, nothing, nothing definitely personal. Yeah, nothing personal in terms of that aspect. You know, exactly. They're all just in the game. All just in the game. Exactly. Hey, I've got a question. What did you meet any of the big team players, um, like Optic, Cloud Nine, Sentinels, and whatnot? And if you did, how was it meeting some of like I guess your heroes in a way? How was that, man? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. It was honestly awesome. Who did I talk to? I spoke. I spoke to Ogre too. Oh really? So the goat, yeah, one of the goats. Uh, yeah, the goat, the, the goat. Yeah, um, Ola had a pretty good convo with so him. So to Ola too, you get photos? Yeah, of course I've got photos. Oh yeah, so man. Oh, you think Let's I'm insane? Go. Of course. Oh, I'm well, maybe photos. not. Maybe not. So yeah, Let's go, Lucid. Bro. Yeah. Um, well, who else did I talk to? I spoke to a lot of people. I spoke to Clutch, a commentator. Yep. Um, a bit of. <laughs> a lot of the KCP players, like they're all good blokes. We were all talking to each other after our series and stuff. They were gassing us up. Um, there was, yeah, no, nah, there's a lot of like, like you know, a bunch of the United players I spoke to. I congratulated um, Ryan Noob for his kid. Yeah. Um, his kid on the way. Um, and yeah, no, nah, dude, it's honestly going to events like that and seeing them in the flesh is yeah. just such a cool feeling, you know. And I'm in the, like I'm like in the warm up stations, yeah. Um, yeah. and I just see them like literally like right on the setup, like next to me. I'm like, holy shit, man! Like, yeah. <laughs> like, um, what well, I said hello to Snipe down, you know, but he was in a bit of rush, so I didn't get to really like thank him and talk to him because, yeah. as you know, he um he rated me for like, geez, how many viewers was it? Like three thousand? Yeah. Huge and, man. and then Halo raided me as well after our first cup. Yeah. And that's when that's how my Twitch started blowing up. So I've really got to, whenever I can catch him and just actually talk to him and actually thank him properly, that'll yeah. be good. Oh, well, I'm um, sure that you could reach out to Twitter, man. You, you know, it's not yeah, down yeah. if you listen to this. Australia's a num- number 15 <laughs> podcast. Whereas a, there's probably yeah. 15 in the country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't but if he's listening, trauma. hey, if he's listening, man. Contact the man, okay, Alex. Okay, contact him up. Hit him up, man. Just wants to talk. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's sick, man. But did yeah, I? Yeah, it is. It was, did you? I love Hex. Was did you see Hex? I didn't get to see Hex. Did you man. see Hex? No, I didn't get to see Hex. Did you, I knew he was there. I met yeah. Hitch actually. I did you met Hitch? Hitch? Hell yeah, man. Yep. You I was talked like, yeah, to him. I'm a big fan of Obviously, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Anyone else? Some um, optic, oh, dude. There's so many things I'm fan boy and girling right now, man. But tell me about <laughs> the reaction when formal knocked out optic. I had I was crying, bro. Ah, oh, dude, that was that was such an I don't even know, dude. That that was like some poetry or some shit, dude. I don't know. That was like crazy. <laughs> Especially with like what was going on, like drama wise, um at the time. Um, you know, uh the reason Sentinels Versed optic that early is technically because of optic because you know they called them cheaters and they like it wasn't just optic by the way it was like other teams yeah because of the and, royal um, two situation royal yeah two, yeah router two situation yeah um, <laughs> yep. and basically yeah uh, it's kind of you know like a what's the, what's the oh my god what's the saying uh, what comes around uh, goes around comes around but not really yeah, like, yeah. that's not what i'm looking for i don't know but anyway it's sort of optics own fault 
that they burst Sentinels that early and then to get knocked out that early was oh. pretty devastating for Optic as well because they definitely could have ran the gauntlet. But, dude, yeah, I don't know. Shout out to Formal as well. He popped off in that I last know. game five. Dude, he had the, ga- the <laughs> fucking series the of, game his of his life, life. bro. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, this is bullshit, bro. And I'm like, okay, well, if he does, if he does this, if they win this, they better go through and win the whole thing, man. Otherwise, I'm yeah, gonna be yeah. pissed. I was, uh, yeah, I was gonna root for Sentinels if, yeah. And then, and then Phase beat Sentinels, and then I'm like, yeah. ah, let's go Phase. And then Phase got knocked out by United, and then I was like, it's Cloud Nine or United. Hmm. Cloud's just, yeah, like, they're just, yeah, Cloud. They're too good, bro. It's, yeah, they're just they're, insane. They're dominating yeah. still right now. Yep. So. Hey, but <clears throat> Optic's coming back. You guys are going to be going back, qualifying again. You're going to be knocking everyone out, holding that trophy above yeah, bro, your head, yeah, man. Bro. No, I'm saying, man. Don't even <laughs> worry course, about the course. nerves. That, that's that's the dream, mate. That's the dream. Well, it always oh, yeah. is. Like, we go in, you know, putting in all of our effort. Try, When's the next you know, event? To get that. Um, so, the next global one that all teams get invited to is Kansas City, I think, in... <clears throat> I think that's in April. Oh, okay. Um, that's close. Yeah, but the Americans get a LAN happening Anaheim next month in February. So okay, which yeah. Is, Anaheim is always huge, man. It's always the name. Anaheim. But recently, now, um, you know, it's only going to be the top sixteen teams playing there. Oh, really? Because of COVID stuff, you know, there's not going to have a crowd. Like, oh man, yeah, yeah for it's pretty big the one in day, April but... or the Anaheim. Anaheim, Anaheim. I don't I'm, worry. I'm pretty sure Kansas should be fine. Yeah. Um, Who knows, man? Every crowds. every state there is like a different country, bro. There's, It's just insane. Everyone yeah, has different Yeah, it rules. legit is. It legit is. So, uh, might as well be uh, like an own country. Exactly, man. Hey, um, if you could 1v1 confidently someone and, and smack him to the grave, this is one of the last questions of the podcast. Who would it be? Call them out. I can't, you know, like I can't answer this because I, I live okay, in Australia. Just, I live just, in Australia. Just call out, call out your win. teammates then. Or someone in Australia who you could smack. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, who you got on, in a Australia 1v1? Is not, Australia is a little kitty pond, man. Who, who you got? Who you got in a 1v1 in Australia? In Australian players? Oh, uh, you know, you know, probably 99.99% of them. Here we go. He's, he's... The, the 0.01% is my, are my teammates. Is is ballerining around his uh to his around yeah, the, the I, names? I, really I love am. it. I, I really love it, am. man. You're not gonna catch me. No, that's but, okay. But yeah, I technically did answer. You know. No, I like it, man. I like it. Hey, so <laughs> before we leave, um, I I always ask my my guests this question, and it is, where do you store your butter? In the fridge or the pantry? The fridge, man. Fridge. Yes. Oh, I kind of knew a that. Pantry guy. Yeah, I'm a pantry guy. I'm a pantry guy because it's it's room temperature. Okay, get me out of here. It's room temperature. If I come home with a nice, big, juicy, warm dough of sourdough, okay? Yeah. I can't, okay. I can't spread that shit with a hard as fuck brick from the fridge. Yes, yes, you can. Not as well. Why, why don't you? Yeah, but why don't you just like, you take it out of the fridge and then you like leave it in the room temp for like five minutes or something. I don't have five minutes in the morning when I'm rushing to Yes, to you gym. do. No, I do. I'm a busy How man. How about you wake up five minutes earlier? Nah, nah. I'll just skip <laughs> butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Is there any uh, socials that you want to uh, shout out for yourself, man? Just uh, twitch.tv forward slash barcode underscore. Okay, I'm the partner grind, baby. Here we I'm, go. I've applied. I'm pretty sure I should. I'm pretty confident, man. I'm pretty confident the streams have been blowing up. You know, the support's been crazy there. Um, and just to keep up with me i guess my twitter which is i don't dude, i don't is, yeah it's barcode ak no spaces you don't even know your own twitter uh, brother come on you gotta get I don't, that man I, don't. I love it because my barcode underscore ak twitch yeah i don't know if i've got an underscore my twitter but um oh can you change can you change it to match it on twitter twitch mm, on twitter i i think i could on twitch yeah just i, yes. I don't know but yeah See if you can just <laughs> yeah gotta have that consistent you know social absolutely um, yeah, pretty much that's about it, man. No, I appreciate you coming by. And to all the listeners in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, we do stream this on Spotify, Apple, and YouTube as well, ladies and gentlemen. It can be found everywhere in the country and across the globe. Uh, that is it for me. 
Jack OG for your host in the evening. And thank you very much to my boy, Alex Barco, for coming onto the podcast. No worries, man. We'll see you guys no next worries. time. Until then, remember to be safe. Stay safe, as always. Boom, baby. Peace. Oh.